Hi, welcome to Pastor Talk. I'm Pastor Steve. I have a text today in the Gospel of John that is was so lengthy and there's so much food in there, spiritual food in there, and so much to discuss that it'd be very difficult in this one video, but I, I want to get to the point of it. It's in chapter 6 of the Gospel of John. Jesus is telling them that he's the bread that came down from heaven. And he says to them that unless you eat of this bread and eat of my flesh and drink of my blood, uh, you can have no part in me. Now, just offhand, I, I, I guess let me make a comment that, that many of them, it said in the 66th verse, said they stopped following Jesus. And, and, and it would be very hard to be in their position to hear someone that, that maybe you've, you've gone to school with you've uh, known as a family friend and all of a sudden one day they say that they are bread that came down from heaven and and they say that you must eat of their blood and their flesh and of course in the Jewish law uh, eating of the blood was wrong so this is a very very difficult verse but I want to take you straight to the key I believe that unlocks really the meaning of uh, eating of his flesh and drinking of his blood and that's in chapter 6 verse we'll read verse 43 starting there Jesus therefore answered and said unto them murmur not among yourselves no man can come to me except the Father draw him and I will raise him up the last day it is written in the prophets they shall all be taught of God I believe this is really the key to the entire text and you really have to read really verse 42 through verse 58 to get the, the full most of the context of this uh, text but I believe this is the key he says first of all in verse 44 he says the father must draw you that no man can come to him except the father draw you now you remember that uh, that Jesus asked Peter he says who do the people say that I am and Peter says well, some say you're Jeremiah, some say you're Elijah, some say you're one of the other prophets. And Jesus says, who do you say that I am? This was the key to a lot of things. Jesus was checking to see, had God the Father, the work of the Holy Spirit, had he revealed to Jesus who he really is? Because Jesus, of course, was, was and is more than a man. He's the Messiah they were looking for, the anointed one. And also he, as they took him a long time to understand this, probably not till after the resurrection, that he was truly the Son of God himself. God in the flesh, according to John 1, 1 and John 1, 14. And so he says here, and I believe it's the key to the, the understanding of eating of his flesh and drinking of his blood. He says, no one can draw me except the Father draw them. This We, we know that the eating of the the flesh and drinking the blood we know that wasn't a physical meaning it had to be a spiritual meaning and I believe he's talking about revelation in the next verse after the drawing by the Holy Spirit by God he says in verse 45 it is written in the prophets and they shall all be all taught of God you and I as Christians are taught by revelation I believe this is one of the biggest things missing in the church today. But let us go to our text. We don't have time to discuss that anymore. We're talking about the eating of his flesh and drinking of his blood, how hard this is for us to grasp. I think there's a picture of this, and it's a reminder of it in when we take uh, communion. And I want you to think of that for a moment. When you take communion, you're partaking. It's kind of like one pastor told me. He says he uses the example, if you eat a piece of chicken and you eat it and consume it, you've partaken of the chicken. And I believe this is what we're talking about here. When you have revelation of the and knowledge, revelation revealed to you that that cannot be understood by the human mind, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, you're partaking of a revelation of God, and you can partake by repenting of your sin, confessing your sin, and repenting and turning to God. You can be born again and come into the kingdom of God and know and have a relationship with God himself. He was speaking here in verse 45, they shall all be taught of God. He was 
speaking about uh, from the book of Isaiah, and I think there's another scripture as well, but from the book of Isaiah, Isaiah said, they shall all be taught of God. He was speaking of the, the day of the, the kingdom of God, the day of the church. And I believe this is the key. You see, how can we eat of Jesus' flesh and drink of his blood? And I believe he's talking about the work of the cross, revelation knowledge of that. Now, Peter tells us in 2 Peter chapter 1 that that we, the word partaker is used quite a bit. We partake of the gospel. We partake of Jesus Christ. We partake of communion. We, we are partakers of divine life. You see, it's God's desire that we partake of the promises, and that's what it says in 1 Peter chapter 1, that we can partake of the promises of God, that this is how we partake of the divine life. Oh, beloved brothers and sisters, we must continually seek for revelation. For every time you get a re revelation to where you now know something better than you knew before, now that you know something, you, you partake of it, you really become an owner of it. You can own your knowledge of God. You can, as I tell my people, you can know that you know. Just like you know that you know you're saved because you have partaken of Jesus Christ. Well, God has promises and he, has, uh, he wants to set us free with truth and set us free with the truth that we might be free from addictions and the things of this world. We must partake of revelation, beloved, if we're going to partake of the divine life. We must partake of the promises of God. We must seek the promises. We must search out the promises. We must desire to live a life of promise, which is a life of faith. This is what it means when, it's, when Jesus said you must partake. He didn't say partake. You must eat of my flesh and drink of my blood. He was saying you must partake of my life, my divine life by partaking of the promises, by living a life of faith, by what we say, walking the talk. Well, beloved, there's just not enough time to cover this as I would like to. I just preached on this, and it takes a solid half hour to really, uh, really discuss this verse. But I hope this has been instructive, and I hope you'll see this is the key to the understanding of eating of his flesh and drinking of his blood. It's, it's understanding that you must partake by revelation of the Lord Jesus Christ and of the divine life of Almighty God. Well, I hope this has been instructive. I hope it's been a blessing to you. This is Pastor Talk for you. And God bless you.